Hi, I'm Dean Rumpel, CEO of Pledge Away Industries. Today I'm standing in our welding shop. Here you can see this is where we weld all of our solid steel structure together and we bond our fiberglass to the steel when we create the frame and shell of our Excel TD. Why don't you join me and I'll give you your own personal tour of a 2017 Plateau Excel TD. Here we are, all set up for the big game today. I'm underneath our legless awning. It comes with its own built-in wind sensor that'll retract if I get caught in a windstorm, and it has LED lights. I'm just outside our 2017 XL TD, and one of the first things you noticed was the abundance of exterior storage. We have 26 cubic feet of outside storage on a motorhome that's only 22 feet 9 inches long. I have my grill set up and ready to go, and I have it all plugged in to my Attiti, which taps the gas right off of the main tank, so I don't have to carry an extra tank along with me. The 2017 Plateau XL TD is built on the Mercedes-Benz cab chassis 3500. It's a one-ton chassis with an 11,030 gross vehicle weight rating. It features a three-liter, six-cylinder turbo diesel engine and a five-speed transmission. Now our customer support, this coach will get you a solid 16 miles per gallon on the highway. The overall height is 10 feet 9 inches to the top of the roof air conditioner and the body width is 90 inches. So we get asked a lot, boy I really love this coach and everything you get inside but I wish it was a little bit narrower and smaller just like one of our vans. So I just want to point something out. If you were to look at the running boards on one of our standard body vans, like a Plateau TS, the width from side to side on the running boards is going to be the same. So really what we're adding onto the wide body is about four inches on each side. And that makes a tremendous amount of difference on the inside. As we come around the driver's side of the 2017 Plateau Excel TD, you'll notice that we paint the front bumpers and side moldings to match. This is full automotive paint. It's not a gel coat. This particular coach is in brilliant silver and we also offer it in pearl metallic and gray white. As we move along the driver's side, you'll notice we use frameless windows so it gives you nice clean sleek exterior appearance. Down below we have our holding tank discharge station. Here's where you can dump your gray water and your black water tanks. We don't use macerators because everybody knows gravity never fails. Coming along we'll find our Onan 2.5 kilowatt propane generator. It's very easy to service, it's easily accessible and to fill your propane it's conveniently located right here. Next you'll see we have our upper and lower fridge vents and our utility station. Here's where we'll plug into shore power, tie into cable TV, hook up city water, and a remote disconnect switch for your propane tank. We also offer as an option Alcoa aluminum wheels. It adds just that little bit of shine and sparkle to your tires. Next we'll see our large driver side exterior storage compartment. As you remember, this was housing our portable barbecue. It's an aluminum frame with a strong latching mechanism so it'll close and seal every time. We have our outside shower which features hot and cold running water, our freshwater gravity fill, and our on-demand water heater. As soon as you open up your hot water tap, the hot water starts to flow continuously. As we come around to the back of the coach, we have our backup camera, a large frameless picture window, this coach also features a 5,000 pound hitch receiver and seven pole wiring. Plus, all of our exterior lights are LED from backup to marker lights. What makes our wide bodies truly unique is our construction process. How we bond steel to fiberglass and weld it all together, which creates one of the strongest 
safest watertight coaches in the entire industry. Why don't you join me? We'll go inside our welding shop. I'm going to show you how we create this wide body structure. The construction of our wide body motorhomes begins in the welding department. We start by creating the two side walls by welding together tubular steel to create the frame. The floor frame is welded at this time as well. The next stage is an important step in our wide body construction process. To adhere the fiberglass walls to the steel frames, we use a product called Sikaflex and bond the two components together. After the steel and fiberglass are primed and the Sika is applied, the steel is lowered onto the fiberglass wall. Bonding the walls with Sikaflex ensures a high standard of strength and eliminates the need for multiple types of fasteners. Before the walls go up, we first install the flooring structure. We attach the floor frames by bolting them to the sprinter chassis frame. Once the floors are fastened, we can attach the sidewalls to the frame. As the sidewalls are moved into position, the structure of the motorhome starts to take shape. Once the walls are squared, we weld the support brackets that attach the front cab to the body. Next, we add steel roof support brackets, which finish the structure of the wide body motorhome. These roof supports create a solid steel cage, which is a big reason why this structure is so safe and sturdy. All connections to the floor and sidewall frames are now welded together. With the solid steel frame now complete, we can install the one piece fiberglass roof. The roof overlaps the sidewalls and is bonded to the steel roof supports. We add more Sika on the inside to ensure a watertight seal. Now the rear and front cap are ready to be installed. We bond the one piece rear cap using the same process as our side walls. The rear cap is attached by overlapping the roof and the side walls. We attach a few screws on the bottom to ensure it's fitting square. The front cap is installed next and is fitted to overlap the roof and the sidewalls. By installing the fiberglass caps like this, we are eliminating the chance for water leaks in the future. The sidewall caps are installed last and receive the same bonding technique used throughout the entire process. All seams created through this process get sealed with caulking in the finishing stages. Once complete, this wide body structure is not only strong and safe, but the bonding method used eliminates almost any chance of a water leak in the future. Now that you've seen how we create this wide body structure, let's go have a look inside. As we step into the Excel TD, I'm just going to close our fully framed aluminum screen door. This is great for letting in some fresh air. You'll notice how wide open and spacious this coach is, and we have lots of windows all the way around. You'll see here we've spun and rotated the front two captain's chairs. This is great as it gives you a secondary seating area. We have a flip up countertop right here, along with 110 receptacles and a duplex USB port. And we have a second flip up counter extension on the driver's side. It too has 110 plugs and the duplex USB ports. So this is fantastic if you wanna have a meal up here and still keep your beds made up at the back. As we step into the kitchen, we're gonna notice our beautiful Corian countertops with matching backsplash, even a Corian valance. Here we have our stainless steel sink, single lever faucet, and two burner propane stove. Just below the stove, we have our convection microwave oven, an additional convenient 110 plug, more storage underneath, and directly beneath the sink, we have more storage. Here we have two utensil drawers and they're uniquely cut out to fit around the plumbing so we maximize all of our storage space. And we still have room underneath for some bigger pots and pans. And on the end of the kitchen cabinet, we have an additional 110 plug and our multiplex wiring. This is conveniently located right by the side entry door so when you step into the coach, you can turn on all your lights, start your generator, even disconnect your coach batteries, either when you're coming in or out of the door. Across from the kitchen, we're gonna find our Go Power Solar Controller. So this controls your solar panels, which you can option out to a maximum of five 95 watt solar panels, 
which will give you 475 watts per hour or 25 amps per hour under optimum conditions. Now, this is going to show you your state of charge on your battery, what your battery voltage is, and how many amps per hour are currently going into your lithium batteries. Now, let's remember every coach comes equipped with two 100 amp hour Eco Ion Lithium Coach batteries. So, these solar panels are going to help keep them charged up, which will help extend your own dry camping. Directly across from our kitchen, we place our bathroom. This is located on the driver's side, and we do this to keep the entire coach feeling open and spacious. Let's take a look inside. Wow is usually the first word people use to describe this bathroom when they open the doors. Here we have a unique corner shower. It has a Corian surround as well as a skylight to give you extra headroom for taller people. I'm over six feet tall. Let me just show you how much room we have. I can easily stand in here and have a shower and have plenty of room to spare. Now let's look across at the other side. Even with our large corner Corian and glass shower enclosure, we still have all this room. We have tons of upper vanity storage as you can see here. We have our Corian backsplash and countertop, stainless steel sink, single lever faucet. We even have shelves to store all of your items that you want to carry in the bathroom. We also have a large opening window and a china bowl toilet which is a residential size. Directly behind the bathroom we have our Dometic 5 cubic foot refrigerator which comes with a unique freezer compartment that can be removed if you want to expand your fridge capabilities. And this is a three-way fridge, so you can run it off of propane, 110, or 12 volt. Directly below the fridge is our 16,000 BTU forced air furnace. This is the next generation of furnaces, and it's much quieter than the previous models. As you may know, Plugeway is one of the few manufacturers that use high-end quality multiplex wiring. Right above the fridge, you'll find our touchscreen multiplex wiring pad. When you hit the home button, you'll be able to tell the levels of your fresh, gray, black, and propane tanks. You'll see the voltage of your house batteries, plus you can start and stop your water pump and generator. By hitting the light panel, you can control each individual zone as you see here, plus by pushing and holding, you can dim each individual bank of LED lights. New for 2017, each Pleasureweight coach comes standard with the Xantrex 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This inverter will provide power to up to eight electrical outlets in this Excel TD. It'll also power your convection microwave too. So if you wanted to heat something up quickly, you don't have to start your generator to do it. Now, we locate the panel just above the multiplex wiring panel. From here, you can tell your battery voltage, the current power being drawn through the inverter in amps, and how many watts an appliance would be using at that time. Every Xantrex inverter even comes with its own built-in transfer switch. So as soon as you plug in a shore power or start the generator, it transfers the power to that source and feeds all the plugs so you're not draining power from your coach batteries. As we move into the rear living area, we're going to find our 24-inch LED LCD TV, and this is mounted on a swing-out arm, so you can find the perfect viewing angle for you. This is also paired with an LG Blu-ray player. This is a smart Blu-ray player, so if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can stream Netflix, Hulu, and other apps directly from it. Now, each coach also comes with a WineGuard Razer digital TV antenna. So by simply powering on the TV antenna, it'll automatically find the strongest signal possible and no longer do you have to manually search for them. Directly above the TV is our digital thermostat. This controls your 11,000 BTU Dometic rooftop air conditioner as well as your furnace. So now all you have to do is set the temperature and it works just like your own home. This coach features our natural maple cabinet package this is solid maple, all milled in-house, stained by hand. It's also available in copper. And three new choices for 2017 
in our slab European high gloss cabinetry. You can get it in either copper, white chocolate, or natural high gloss laminate. I've shown you a lot of storage on the outside of this new Excel TD for 2017. Well, the theme continues on the inside. Let's take a look at all this upper storage we have. First, we have our hanging wardrobe. We have two large upper cabinets on the driver's side and look how deep and far back this goes. We have another one across the rear and two huge compartments on the passenger side. Now you'll notice we have bloom hinges and Hayfla door stays so you know your doors are gonna stay up. As we move towards the kitchen, we have two large upper kitchen cabinets. Here you can see how deep they are. You can easily put plates and even large boxes of cereal. Now let's remember all of our cabinets are screwed together. They're not stapled together. We use angle brackets and screws for additional strength and quality so you won't hear anything rattling when you're driving down the road. The storage continues as we move to the front. Here we have another pantry and this massive over cab storage area. This is incredibly deep and incredibly wide. That's why we don't put a door on it because you would never reach all the way back here. It also comes with its own cargo netting so you can stack your goods high and you don't have to worry about them moving around. As we sit down in the back twin dinette area, I just want to show you the last little bit of storage we have. Here underneath the driver's side bed, we have two massive pull-out drawers. Here you can put clothes, bedding, pillows, all the items you might want to carry. The Excel TD, TD stands for Twin Beds or a Dinette. Here we can see it's set up in the dinette setting. We have a large table and plenty of room all the way around for all your guests. Now, the twin beds are covered in our ultra leather. This we're showcasing today is cream, but it's also available in our pewter color selection as well as titanium. We even include this great little seat cushion if you want to expand your dinette into a U-shape to make room for that extra person. If we look up, you'll see nothing but huge panoramic windows. And these are even awning style windows so you can have your windows open in the rain and get that nice breeze in the evening. When it's time to convert from the dinette to the twin beds, it's very simple to do. First, we're gonna pull down our MCD roller shades to give us a little privacy. Then you're gonna store your two armrest and backrest cushions, and this will give you a 29 inch by 74 inch single bed. And we layer each foam mattress with a layer of medium density foam and memory foam to ensure you're gonna get a good night's sleep. Between the twin beds, we have a nightstand. This is a Corian top. It has a pull-out drawer. And on each side of the drawer, comes a USB port in case you want to plug your phone in to set an alarm if you need to get up early and a 110 plug. These plugs are powered by your inverter so if you're dry camping and you needed to plug in your CPAP machine you don't have to worry about starting your generator. Now for those times where you'd like to convert this into a massive king size bed it's very easy to do. We're just going to use the backrest cushions, a couple of support boards and you're going to create an 86 by 74 inch rear king bed. This may be one of the largest beds in the entire industry. As we're finishing off the interior, I just want to point out, standing back here in the twin bed area, we have six feet five inches of standing height, flush mount LED lights, soft touch vinyl ceiling, which is really easy to keep clean. As we transition forward, we now have six feet eight inches of standing height. And as you know, I'm a fan of the Fantastic Fan. This is great if you want to keep your coach cool without having to run your air conditioner. It's thermostatically controlled and has three speed settings. And it'll exchange all the air in this coach in less than 60 seconds. As we move up into the front of the coach, you'll notice that the driver and passenger seats are all covered in matching ultra leather and they have multiple adjustments so you can set the seat up just how you like it. Each coach comes with Becker in-dash navigation, AM FM radio, Bluetooth for your cell phone, an auxiliary jack, and a USB port. They also come with power windows, power locks, 
power remote mirrors, and a multifunction steering wheel. Well, that concludes our tour of the 2017 Plateau XL TD. As you've learned, there's a tremendous amount of labor and time that goes into building the steel structure and bonding all that fiberglass. If you're looking for a coach that's slightly larger than a regular van, maybe the Plateau XL TD is the one for you.